shopping for gifts, wrapping them all, planning the ideal menu, traveling back and forth to holiday parties. It's all part of the holiday season, and no matter how much you love this time of the year, it sometimes seems a bit overwhelming with everything else we have to do every day. Many times that means we put off going to the gym or working out, and you know what that means. By the time the new year comes around, we could all be looking at a few unwanted pounds. That's why on this special edition of my holiday special, we're going to tell you how you can do it all and maybe even relax during the holidays as well. Hello again everyone, I'm Lynn Doyle and we're joined now by Jamie Appenzeller. She's the fitness guru for Philly Fit and Jersey Fit magazines, which featured yours truly on its November-December cover. And she's here to tell us how we can find time for ourselves when it comes to keeping fit. Happy holidays, Jamie. Happy holidays, Lynn. Thanks as, for having me. As always, you look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the question is, how do we maintain our fitness routine when everything else seems to come crashing down on us? Yeah, it is kind of nuts. Um, we've come up with, there's a million ways out there, and my first advice is to ask a trainer, or, or consult with a trainer first. But we've come up with a little plan to show you today. Um, three days a week, 45 minutes. Uh, if you can get in there, get focused, and go for it, uh, we've got an idea. So is it just a matter of making it a priority? Yeah, it is. And you know what? I think you almost have to pick a reason. Um, like in my case, my back hurts a lot from sitting so much, publishing all day, sitting at a computer. So I think if you can find something that just motivates you the most, whether it be a vanity reason, whether it be a medical reason, in my case, my back hurts. So I have to go to the gym. And the stress during the holidays only makes it worse. So I use that as my reason to make myself go, my back feels better. All right, you said that you have an idea. I understand yeah. that our crew followed you on a recent workout at yeah. Philadelphia Sports Club. What are we going to see you doing? Well, you're going to see little peaks of uh, this three-day workout. Uh, we do an upper body workout the first day. We do a lower body workout the second day. Um, the third day, we do a core training, which is key. It's, you probably hear it all over the place these days. Core training is a big deal. That's the third day. And each uh, day of the three, the last 15 minutes is cardio very important, but the cardio is at the end of the workout. And we're going to find why. out why. Okay, yeah. let's take a look at Jamie in action. <laughs> mm -hmm. In 45 seconds, I'm going to tell you the key to staying in shape three days a week, 45 minutes. Today we're working the upper body, we're working biceps, shoulders, and triceps. I mean, hey, your arms got to look good during that holiday dress. This is day two of our three-day workout plan. Today we're working the lower body. I mean, you have to keep your legs in shape for all that holiday dancing. This is day three of our three-day holiday workout. What we're working on today is the core. The most important component of exercise, we're working abs and core stabilization, burning off that pumpkin pie. The last 15 minutes of every 45 minute workout should end with cardio. Let's go, Jamie. We got to get fit. Burn off that holiday candy. Go for it. Let's go. All right, so you've got the suggestions there on what you can do over three days. It doesn't take all of that much time. And as you said, the cardio at the end, what's the secret? Why do it at the end? Well, I've asked trainers endlessly, why is this a fact? Each one has a little bit of a different answer. There's probably five answers, and they're all right. The main reason is the first 20 minutes you're working out, you're really just burning carbs at that time. You've, you need to get warmed up, and you're burning carbs, and you may as well save those carbs for the weight training part where you really need that energy. Um, after about 20 minutes, your body goes into the next phase, which starts burning body fat. Mm -hmm. So I say, do your weight training first, use the carbs for the energy, get your heart rate up because it needs to get up anyway. By the time you get on the treadmill or the stepper or whatever you do, you start burning body fat as soon as you get on. You don't need the 20 minute warm up. All right, I'm writing that down. That's yeah. what I want to hear. Cardio at the end. Okay, we have some other fitness tips for, for you that you should keep in mind during the holiday season. You say push pull workouts prevent overtraining. What does that mean? Yeah, well, um, that really means if, if you do two body parts in a workout, traditionally a lot of people like to do a three day on, one day off type of workout. Um, so, say for example, um, you're going to do uh, chest and triceps. They're both pushing exercises. Triceps are pushing down, chest is pushing up. And by the time you're done doing, say, chest first, you go to do your triceps, which is the back of your arms, and you're burnt out. So if you do a push exercise, for example, like chest, right. but then maybe you do bicep curls, which is like a pull. It's a push and a pull. You've not overexerted your biceps when you were doing your first body part. Okay. So try and group your body parts as a push and pull. 
One of the other things that you mentioned, supersets increase intensity. Yeah, supersetting is where, say you're, gonna, you're doing your one body part and you're doing biceps, and you've got three different exercises that you'd like to do for biceps. Rather than doing your set, put your dumbbells down and wait for a second and go back, you go and you do all three of them at one time, then you put them down and you take your break. You have a lot less breaks, your intensity level increases because you just don't stop, and it almost is like a cardio workout while you're weight training. Good advice, and of course you have already explained why we should do cardio at the end. So yeah. let's move on to if we're traveling during the holidays, yeah. which a lot of people do, and that takes you away from your gym time or yeah. your trainer time, which in my case is my gym time because my trainer is Jim. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> but if you are traveling, what should we take with us to make sure that we can still kind of include uh, physical fitness in our travels? Well, I have learned, these are my favorite things that I brought for the show today. The most important is sneakers. Um, bottom line is walking. I don't care what anybody says, period. Walking is walking is walking. It's good for you. You can increase. You can use some of these weights while you're walking. Um, if you're at a hotel and you're staying for a couple of days, there's no reason why before or after dinner um, you can't go out there. And, and even if you have to do laps around the hotel, walk, 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 especially after the meals. Um, I put here an iPod uh, with the carrying case that straps onto the arm. I think that's kind of cool, too. For me, I've just fallen in love and become addicted to the iPod keeps me going, I probably get an extra 10 or 15 minutes just from having the music and the beat. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, a workout video. Um, you know, in the hotels, the TVs come with um, DVD, they come with cassette. No reason why not to bring a uh, Billy Blank's boot camp workout. You know, <laughs> one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's a killer workout. It's a good gift too if you're looking for someone yes. who's into physical fitness. That yes. might be something. And we're always throwing out advice there for you guys. You got it. And then the bands, the stretchy bands. We've got a set of stretchy bands over here underneath the big fancy bow, and the stretchy bands just add some kind of resistance training, which is really key to developing the muscles. Cardio is good, but you gotta develop the muscles. And the last thing is a swimsuit, um, a pool. Every hotel has a pool. Swim some laps. All right, and of course, this is the time of the year that we have something like this. I'm gonna surprise my guys, but look at this. Hey, uh -huh. We have all of these snacks that are out there, and of all these, look what's good. This is the one I would wanna go yeah. to. <laughs> That's the one. But I should not go for this one. I should actually go for the better apple, or perhaps the little tangelo, correct? Yeah, but you know what? I, I still think everything in moderation. There's gotta be a little goodie or treat here and there. Um, so when you have something that you know you shouldn't have, then for the next day or two, then don't have anything you shouldn't have and try and make up for it. I just, when I, what I try to do is not do it more than one day or more than once without a couple of days of being good again. So I, I would eat that apple if I were you, Ooh. but just not tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> I have permission from Jamie to yes. eat the caramel apple. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you. And thank you so much for the great advice. Thanks for having me. And I did bring something for you. Oh, you did? This, a is, this is your holiday present, a Philly Fit t shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so All next right. Next time you work out. All Make about sure Philly Fit here, there and thank you, you for putting me on the cover. I'm not sure I deserve to be there, but you thank sure you very did. much. <laughs> oh, you sure did. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jamie. Great advice. I hope that you guys take it. And when we come back, another holiday highlight, one that you should be sure to incorporate into your holiday season. Until then, we leave you with some additional fitness tips from some of our viewers from around the region, plus information on how you can find out more about staying fit. Hi, so what are you going to be doing this holiday season to stay fit? I work at a gym back at home, so I work five days a week, so I'm probably going to work out every day that I'm there while I'm at home. Wow. Is that normal for you? When well, I'm up here, no, I don't work out that much because I'm in college, so when I'm at home working, I do work out a lot more. All right. So you're going to stay fit for the holidays. No holiday bulge. No, hopefully not. So what are you going to do to stay fit this holiday season? Well, what I'm going to do to stay fit, I'm going to make sure I stay on top of my nutrition because it's about 90% of my results. So I had my day off during Thanksgiving. I'm going to make sure I stay focused until next Thanksgiving. And what are you going to do this holiday season to stay fit? Well, I'm going to go ahead and get myself a personal trainer because I find uh, that I'm Italian, I eat a lot, so it'll definitely help me. Well, I'm going to eat right, um, exercise right here and at home, and try to get my body in shape and get ready for the next summer that comes in. Usually I just kind of like eat in moderation, and as long as I keep up with the workout, like run every other day, and like keep up with my yoga, I don't feel too guilty about you know, feasting on Thanksgiving or anything like that. Okay, big guy, so what are you going to do to stay fit this holiday season? Well, the Christmas time will be coming around, so I'm going to have a nice turkey, do a couple curls with the turkey drumsticks and the <laughs> turkey thighs, and drink plenty of low-fat milk and a little R&R, &R, rest and relaxation.